Steph, let's get into it. Baby, let's talk about Saturday night football. Brady and the Buccaneers, they are heading west to take on Chase Young and the Washington football team. That's crazy that they have to go to D.C. to play this game to me. I don't know why. Just, anyways, as of Wednesday today, the Buccaneers are eight and a half point favorites, and the point total is set at another very low, 45 points. Uh, Washington, they won the NFC East with a record of seven and nine. And there was a lot of controversy, obviously, surrounding their last game. I saw you tweeting about it. Everybody's tweeting about it against the Eagles when Philly decided to put in Sudfield over uh, keeping the rookie Jalen Hurts in. But Washington can only beat what's in front of them, right? So props to them. Chase Young has been the talk of the town, him and Alex Smith. But, I mean, now late late season, it seems like Chase Young is actually now the star of that team. It's, it's amazing. And the offense has shown flashes of brilliance, okay? So we're not going to sleep on them either. Now, the Buccaneers, they finished, with, they finished the season hot with four straight wins. And don't look now, but that guy, Antonio Brown, he's had four touchdowns in the last three games. Mike Evans probably isn't going to play in this game as usual, I feel like. Um, he's got, he had a knee injury against my Falcons, but definitely need to keep an eye on that. As I have learned, you and I filmed this show very early in the week and things change. Okay. So keep an eye on that when making your bets, Jeff, anything can happen in the playoffs, right? I've seen some crazy upsets over the years, but is it a step too far to think that maybe DC could push the, could beat the Buccaneers or get, keep it close at least? Are you expecting a blowout? How do you see this going? I don't think it's going to be a blowout at all. I think, you know, you look at the two teams, how they match up, and it's a, you know, it's a defensive club in Washington, led by those five first-rounders they have in the defensive line. If you study Tom Brady's history, where he gets nervous or where he has problems or where his challenges lie, typically it's in teams that can rush for and get to him and play zone coverage behind it so that he has to hold the ball. And, you know, you look at uh, their, the way that this – Washington team is built they will be a challenge because that is a very very good front seven that they're going to face the secondary is better than people believe Ronald Darby's playing really good football right now uh, Cameron Curl this rookie that they drafted in the seventh round has had a tremendous year they're playing with confidence they believe in each other um, you know I, I think if you if you saw some of the things that came out of Washington after the game you know, Ron's not making any excuses for winning games. They're in the playoffs. And, you know, there are other teams that are sitting at home and going to have to watch them with better records. They don't care because they're in the playoffs. Now, I would be a little more, be a little concerned about my, my defensive leader calling out Tom Brady, uh, yeah. as Chase Young did. But that's young. I mean, that's being young. Think about this one, Rachel. When Tom Brady won his first Super Bowl, Chase Young was two years old. Think about that. Yeah, he got drafted, I think, the when he was one, right? Yeah. So yeah. you gotta you gotta know that that uh, first of all, Tom doesn't need any emotion, any emotional fire, but certainly you don't want to do that to, to a guy as prideful as he is. The Bucks, you know, you know, they they still got Goblin and they've still got Brown and they've still got, you know, Scotty Miller and they've still got Gronk and they've got Bray and they've got plenty of weapons. Rojo's healthy again. Um, you know, they, they've got depth at running back. The offensive line, I think, is better than people give them credit for because everybody wants to talk about, you know, the superstars on that team. But, you know, they're pretty good up front. Tristan Wirfs and, and uh, Ali Marpet and that crew, they're better than people think. I think they'll win the football game. But I think Washington's going to make it really tough on them because that's the kind of team Ron Rivera has built there. If Alex Smith turns the ball over, it could mm -hmm. turn into a you know a blowout. But if he plays like he's capable of playing and manages the clock and manages the game well, and Gibson can run the football a little bit, and McLaren will make some plays on the outside, it'll be a good football game. I I just man that scares me that. Eight and a half points in the playoff. That's a big, big spread, and especially to a team at home. So uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Bucks, but I, I don't uh, to win it. But I don't, I don't know if they'll cover nine points. Yeah, I do not have them covering nine points. 
Um, first of all, not that it's necessarily relevant. This is a new coach. This is a new team, whatever. But D- DC as an underdog is 5-0-1 and one against the spread in its last six meetings. So you have that right there. And that is mainly because of their defense. Like you said, Chase Young, after the game, said, we want Brady, we want Brady. And I love the fire. I love to see it. With that being said, be careful what you ask for, young buck. But with that being said, the defense is so freaking good. And the times that I have seen uh, Brady, I'm going to say Breeze, the times I've seen Brady get rattled and look flustered is against really good pass rushes. Like I said, those pe- those teams that can rush for it and get to him. Um, he starts getting happy feet and just – it's one of those ga- – I feel like it's going to be one of those games – where he gets really frustrated and you see Brady's face is all red and he's mad and maybe throwing his helmet on the ground. With that being said, they're going to come out of this with the win, but DC is playing at home. It's the playoffs. I don't remember the last time DC was a playoff team. It was probably Robert Griffin, the third, if I had to guess, but Brady is going to get it done. He has to get it done. There is no excuse not to get it done. He will get it done but DC is going to cover thanks to that defense, that defense that has allowed 17 points or fewer in all of its uh, seven regular season victories and finished fourth with a defensive scoring of 20.6 points per game. So their defense, when Alex Smith can't put up points, their defense can put up points for them. And Brady, especially right now in 2020, 2021, is capable of throwing a pick six. I've seen it happen already. So with that being said, DC is definitely going to cover. Now the point total. This is another really low one, Jeff. How, what do you see? What do you see? 45 points. I'm going to say under because I just don't think unless Washington scores on defense, I just think it's going to be really hard for them to put drives together against. You know, again, one of the thing, things about Tampa Bay is because they got so much star power on offense, nobody talks about their defense. But, you know, Indama Kinsu, Jason Pierre, Paul, I mean, they, at every level of the defense, they've got players. The rookie Antoine Winfield at, in, at safety was a revelation this year. So they're better and than people give them credit for. And I think that they will have a, a field day against a really, really limited Washington offense. Yeah, um, I I do think that the defense will score a point in this game. I really do. That's just how I see it going. For that reason, I'm going to take the over. But anybody is welcome to debate me on that one. I will not fight you very hard. I could see it going either way. But I, I, I'm I definitely taking the prop bet. Brady over 0.5 interceptions. It's happening. It's going to happen. Watch. Um, that being said, I'm going with the over, Jeff's going with the under. Now, Jeff, really quick, producer Ben's in my ear. He wants to clarify, are you taking Washington to cover? Put that on wax. No, I'm telling you, Washington will not win the game, right? Right. Tampa will win the game, but they will not beat them by more than nine. So Washington can cover the spread, but not win the game. Perfect, perfect. That's what I thought, but I just wanted to clarify and for the audience as well. So there you have it, guys. We both have DC covering eight and a half point dogs. And Jeff is taking the under 45 points. I'm going with the over. Let us know in the comments below what you think. Who This is going to be a defensive game. Is going to be some offense put on the board? Is all 45 points going to be scored by the Buccaneers? I, you can talk us into anything. Let us know in the comments below.